All right, in just 10 days, PPAC welcomes back the International Portuguese Music Awards. Now this year, some local Providence talent will participate in the show, but we don't want to give it away because instead, Ricardo Ferris is here to tell us who and what uh, to expect for this year's awards. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks well, so much for coming in. Thanks for having me on. All right, so for anybody who doesn't know, tell us about the this, this award ceremony that, that you have. Uh, the International Portuguese Music Awards is the largest Portuguese music celebration in the world. Mm -hmm. um, it, um, it, it recognizes musical talent of uh, people of Portuguese descent, although in the past couple of years uh, that has also been open to Portugal. So we do get candidates from Portugal as well. It was a way to showcase Portuguese music on an international level. And it's been quite su successful. We're on the 11th uh, edition coming up next week. Right. And the second consecutive at the PPAC, which was a marvelous, magnificent place to h hold the award ceremony. PPAC's a, P -P PPAC is such a great place as well. So to talk about the, uh, the categories and who uh, maybe some of the people are that we may know. Okay. There there are uh, 13 categories, including the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award, which will be given to the legendary José Cid. He's kind of the, he doesn't like hearing this, but he's kind of like the Elton John of Portugal. <laughs> um, so he'll be getting the Lifetime Achievement. Uh, the 13 categories uh, range from rock to pop, uh, song of the year, fado, which is a, a traditional Portuguese okay. uh, type of music. Uh, so a bunch of categories, but uh, one of the big things is having uh, Portugal's top artists just come in and perform. Uh, we have Diogo Pissarra and Marisa Lige, uh, which are two um, uh, mentors from The Voice Portugal, the Portuguese okay. version of uh, The Voice. Uh, I will be co-hosting with uh, Daniela Rua, who is the star of NCIS Los Angeles, which is right here on Channel 12. Um, and um, uh, Toy Era Toxica, which is a local uh, Portuguese-American rock band. Uh, they are absolutely fantastic. Ruby Anderson will be coming in from Portugal. Hip-hop artist Plutonio from, from Portugal. And I know I'm going to be forgetting somebody. Pedro Abrinhosa, uh, which is another uh, another one of Portugal's top stars. Well, that's such a great thing because obviously, I mean, there's such a large Portuguese community here mm -hmm. in Rhode Island and obviously Massachusetts, Fall River area. Um, it, it's great to have all these folks coming in and be celebrated. Absolutely. And this is internationally televised as well. Um, last year, uh, Governor Dan McKee uh, was there with us. He, he watched the whole show, right? which was which was surprising. Uh, but it just goes to show that you don't have to be Portuguese to enjoy it. Obviously, music sure. is universal. It's a universal language, and it's enjoyed by by all. So, how does how does an artist get nominated for for this award ceremony, and who votes on these categories? So, what happens is uh, the artists themselves have to submit their music okay. uh, for evaluation. Uh, there are judges in uh, in Europe. South America and North America. They don't know of each other, uh, but there is a system where they vote uh, in, in numeric form. Uh, that is all sent to the organizers who then r tally up the votes. And the top four, uh, in most cases it's top four, vote getters become the nominees for the specific category. But we do have a category this year with six nominees uh, from five different countries, just in that one category. Okay, now um, there's also Tiny Tavares is coming in too from Tavares. Yes, I mean he's been around here for a long time. Absolutely, anyway. all he'll, of those guys have been. Yeah, <laughs> he'll be he'll be one of the award presenters. And uh, why does that happen? Well, Tiny. Uh, Tiny Tavares is of Cape, Verde, Cape Verdean descent. Right. Uh, so not only is this the Portuguese International Music Awards, but we include all countries that also have Portuguese as their uh, main language. And actually, he came on. The, he was on the road show years back because he brought his Grammy in for mm -hmm. for when they for when they won that. Yep, in the seventies. Well. In exactly. the seventies as well. Okay, so if someone wants tickets, how do they get tickets? For uh, you can visit ipmaawards.com forward slash tickets, or you can also visit the uh, PPAC box office that you can get the tickets there. Uh, and it's it's. It's a great event to come spend the weekend in Providence. If you're sure. not from the area, Providence is beautiful. So many great restaurants, uh, great hotels. Come, come on by and spend a weekend with us. And celebrate too. What is it like putting together a show like this? It's one thing doing it when everybody's here, not yep. too far away, but you're bringing in people from all over the world too. It, it's absolute madness and uh, all, all of that responsibility. <laughs> in a fun way? <laughs> in a fun way, it truly is a fun way. Uh, but that it's 365 days of work yeah. and it's in the hands of uh, uh, Jose uh, Xavier and David Sariva, which are the organizers of th this event. And they just, it's sleepless nights. I bet it uh, is. A lot of logistics, sure. a lot of contacts, uh, uh, last minute changes, right. all of that is in the equation. Well, it's great. <laughs> it sounds like a great night. Thanks so much for coming Thank in you. with us today. And if you would like to attend this year's awards, it is easy to purchase a ticket. To do so, just head on over to our website, roadshow.com.